Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I would like to share with you two valuable tips related to Google SEO indexing and Google updates. So first and foremost, I want to share with you a way to know about Google updates before everyone else. And what I have came to find out and what I want to share with you is generally, if I'm building links and backlinks are indexing between, just for sake of argument, I'll say maybe five to 10 days is generally how long it takes to get them indexed. And I'm seeing that things are slowing down. All of the services aren't working. The services are either down, they're not working, the links aren't indexing. Nine times out of 10, I can guarantee you that there is about to be an update. And usually the longer amount of time that links won't index, like say there's a span of 30 days, like nothing's indexing, I can guarantee you that there's going to be a huge update coming. So that's going to be tip number one. Now, I want to share something with you about Google indexing. Now, these both go hand in hand together, but with Google indexing, what you'll find if you've been trying to index backlinks is we can get them indexed. Sometimes we can even get them indexed almost instantly or within a day or two. But the problem in lies with keeping those links indexed. So I want to share this tip that I picked up from a link provider that offers a service, but that's neither here nor there. But what he did, does is very unique and very clever, and it's very effective for keeping your links indexed. So before I get into that, I want to share Google's job and understanding that their job is to follow links, to crawl the web, gather the information, put it into the index, then rate it, it's called ranking, rank it, and then display the best answer to a query. So with that being said, it's gathering information from all over. So what I noticed that this gentleman was doing is he had his site that was relatively authoritative. He is posting and publishing content consistently, keeping his site fresh. He's got new incoming links coming. And this site may be only linking out to one or two entities from his most powerful page, which in this case is going to be the home page. Now within his site, I noticed that he has another property, another page, and all that's there, all that's there is just URLs, 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 exact match anchors, partials, just a ton of content because nothing keeps a link indexed longer than linking to a link. Nothing helps get links indexed faster than linking to a link. But that's not the best tip. The best tip is not only do you want to send a link to your links, but what I found that he does to keep these links indexed is actually submit them to all of the other places that are crawling the web. So a lot of times us as SEOs, myself, and I'm sure maybe even yourself, sometimes you will forget that there is a Yahoo. Sometimes you forget that there is a Beidou. And a lot of times people will even forget that there is a Bing. Now, there's other sites too, other search engines, other crawlers, other indexers, however you want to look at it, that are looking for information and aggregating information and then indexing and ranking it. But these in particular are some of the largest and you will come to find out that there's something called an XML sitemap. So if we come back here to our authoritative website, it's only got a few links going out. Its sole purpose is to be there to pass power, but also the second benefit is helping index. But what I noticed is this gentleman does not, he does not have Google console, search console. He does not update a sitemap through Google. Never, ever. He doesn't even have search console or analytics installed, but all of the sitemaps after say he creates this page after he builds links after he's building other entities he will after adding update his xml sitemap which is a readable page to help pages get found on the web to all of these other indexes so yahoo Beidou, bing yandex all of them every single one except for google so 
the two tips today that I've given you is how to spot a Google update before everyone else. If your backlinks aren't indexing, guaranteed that there's probably going to be an update or there's going to be a very large update. And the longer that this indexing doesn't happen, the bigger the update generally. The second tip is if you want to not only help your links get indexed, but keep them indexed, which is more important. May I suggest having a page, even if you were to just get a site just for the sole purpose of helping yourself keep your links indexed. May I suggest creating a page, putting your text on there, your URLs, outgoing linking to a link. That's very important. Link to a link helps pages get and stay indexed. And every time you make an update, update it to all of the aggregators, all of the engines, all of the indexes, but not Google. And what you will come to find out is a lot of those links will end up staying indexed and your indexation within Google will be much higher. You'll have a higher percentage and they'll stay indexed. So I hope that you have found value. I hope that I've earned a like on this video. If you've enjoyed this video or you have any questions at all about SEO, Google SEO, Google indexing, Google updates, really anything SEO, digital marketing, or PPC related, please feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I most certainly look forward to seeing you in the next Google SEO, Google updates, and indexing video. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you for watching.